A Beyblade driver is one of the most important parts when considering making a Beyblade combo. So in today's video, or I guess live stream, I will be rating and I guess critiquing every single Beyblade driver that I own. So we have an S tier, an A tier, a B tier, a C tier, an F tier. So you guys know what drivers are competitive and you should use and what drivers you should stay away from. So yeah, let's just get started. We just got a $5 donation from Pokey Rocks. He said, hey, I was wondering if you can make a Beyblade skit with Jake. Maybe in the future. Thank you for the $5 donation. That's actually a really good idea. Well, I'll, I'll think with Jake about it. Anyway, let's get started. First off, we have the Excel driver. We will be going in order. So we're going over like dual layer or uh, single layer, dual layer, and then all the way to dynamite. So first off, we have the classic Excel driver. This guy is probably one of my favorite drivers. It's a solid attack driver. I wouldn't say it's the best driver. You guys in chat, tell me what you think. I wouldn't say it's the best driver in the world, but it's does it gets the job done. It has decent stamina and decent attack power, although it doesn't have that much friction with the stadium floor. So even though you're going to hit your opponent hard, you're also going to be kind of blasted as well. Have some like recoil. And because of that, I think a fair place to put it, I think the B tier. A lot of you guys are saying B and C, but I think B tier is pretty fair. Next up, we have the second driver to be released. This one released on Spriggan. It is the Fusion driver. And you might be thinking, like, this looks exactly like the Excel driver. Well, you gotta look really close. There is a tiny tip. Uh, I think you can kind of see it. There is literally a tiny, like, ball that makes it act completely different. So the uh, gimmick to the fusion driver is that it's kind of like a stamina and an attack driver in one. If you launch it like straight, it'll land on that small ball tip and go to the center of the stadium. But if you launch it really hard, it's supposed to act like an attack driver. Now in reality, you can't really choose. It's really hard to choose. It's really inconsistent and it's very hard to use. And it's neither, it, it's you, you would think you'd get the best of both worlds, but in reality, it kind of just sucks. So I think, honestly, I think this is our first F tier. I think this is our first F tier driver. The Fusion driver is not good. It's really bad. So yeah, F tier it goes. Um, next up, we have the Survive driver, originally released on Ragnarok. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about these early drivers. A lot of them aren't very gimmicky at all because they, they're very standard. So we have the Survive Driver, which is literally just a plastic tip driver. It's not bad, but it's not good. So I think, I mean, B tier probably. I'd say Excel's better. I'm going to put Excel above, well, we'll do it like this. Like We'll put Excel above Survive. All right, after Survive, we have Defense. And I think when the original Beyblades were coming out, Defense was the best driver to be released. Nowadays, it's not that great. <laughs> I'd probably put it in B tier as well. It's just a ball tip. It just, compared to the other drivers, the ball tip was the most consistent. So yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about this guy either. B tier it goes, but um, I like Excel better. I think um, nowadays there's just so many better like defense type tips that you can use. At least Excel kind of has like a niche. Like Excel's niche is that it can attack but also has decent stamina. There's just things that like totally outclass defense these days. All right, moving on to our next part. We have another defense driver. This is massive. This one released on Wyvern and it's just like defense except get this. It's it's massive. It's, it's just a little bigger. So. You would think being bigger is better, but not in all cases. In this case, it's actually worse. It has less stamina. It's a little harder to control. Um, and yeah, it's not really as good. I would say, I'd say it's a C-tier driver. I think, and you guys probably agree with me. Yeah, terrible LED. It's probably a C-tier driver. We're going to put it in C-tier. All right, after Excel, I think the next driver to be released is this guy right here. This is the Blow driver that released on Odin. Now, this is basically the Excel driver, except it has a sharper tip, which makes it so much worse. Excel already does not have that much attack power, so when you make this tip thinner, it has even less attack power. Not only that, it gets off balance so easily, so if your Beyblade literally just tips the tiniest bit, it's scraping the stadium floor, and because of that, I think it's actually worse than the Massive driver. I think this is an F tier driver. Probably still better than Fusion. No, I would say Fus Fusion's still better. Fusion's still better. All right, moving on to uh, this driver right here, our second stamina driver. It originally released on Horusu. This is the Edge driver. Now, the Edge driver is 
I don't want to say it because Quest exists, but this is probably the worst Beyblade driver ever made. It is so bad. So the whole gimmick to it is that it, it's like literally on an edge. It's like a fine tip. And because of that, it has little step or little friction or a uh, little surface area, I guess, with the stadium floor, which gives it a lot less friction, which in theory should give it a lot more stamina. But in actuality, it gets hit once and tips over and falls. It's like a bad blow driver and blows already bad. So this is probably the worst driver on the list so far. F tier it goes. Everyone's saying F. Yeah, it scrapes way too much, guys. All right, next up after the uh, Edge driver, I think the next driver to be released is this guy right here. We have the Zephyr driver. Now, the Zephyr driver is kind of the same thing as Excel, except it has a hole inside of it. So theoretically, it should be less aggressive and give it more stamina. But in actuality, honestly, I don't really see a difference between <laughs> Zephyr and Excel. So we're just going to put it in the same spot. Uh, Jake dies by Zephyr. I think Zephyr is Jake's favorite driver. It's He thinks it's amazing. So we'll put it in front of Excel for that reason. After that, we have another uh, attack driver. This is Assault. It, re it released on the prize Beyblade on Materios. And you can tell it's a prize Beyblade release because it just has such a sick design. Like it has flames, like plastic flames like engraved on it. It looks so cool. Now, Excel is just a bigger, um, sorry, this is not Excel. This is, what is this? Assault. Now, Assault is just like a bigger Excel driver. So it's slightly more aggressive, but it also has less stamina. It's also a little harder to control. I don't think it's as good as Excel, but I don't think it's C tier. I think this is like solid B tier. Someone says A tier. People are saying F tier. I don't, someone said S tier. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> anyway, after Assault, we have the final driver to, wait, where is, this is also single layer, I guess. So not the final. We have two more. We have the yielding driver or the gyro driver. I'm just messing up in this live stream, guys. Someone just said your mom. I love you guys. <laughs> Now, Extreme is probably the best attack driver. It is literally just a rubber flat. And also, I do... I don't know. Why isn't... Focus on the Extreme. <laughs> why is it not focusing? Focus! Next up, we have the Extreme driver. Now, Extreme is probably the best attack driver they've ever made. It is just a simple rubber flat. It hits hard. If you're good, it's easy to control. There's not much recoil because it has a lot of friction. Also, we're combining Extreme, Extreme Metal, Extreme Dash, all the Extremes. Uh, we're not doing those Dash, those Metal things. We're just going to combine them all into one driver. So because of that, I think this guy's an easy S tier. I think that was an easy S tier, guys. And finally, after that, we move on to the dual layer drivers. So let's go over the dual layer drivers. First off, I think we have to start off with Variable, the original driver that released on Valkyrie with its awakening gimmick. Now, Variable, I feel like we need like five different variables here because there's like minty fresh variable. There's slightly worn down variable, there's worn down variable, and then there is like super worn down variable, which is kind of the one I have here, the Awaken version, which is just an extreme flat driver. So if I were to rate, I guess I'll rate all of them. I think they're kind of mid. I think variable's kind of mid. I think extremely worn down, like the Awaken version's a lot of fun to use. I think the best version, like in competitive play, is probably like slightly worn down. It's like a little tamer extreme driver. I think that one's actually pretty good. But overall, I think variable is probably a B tier driver. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it above gyro. Yeah, we'll put it above gyro right there. Alright, after uh, after variable. We have, yeah, a lot of people are saying B. A lot of people are saying B. After gy or not Gyro, after Variable, we have Unite. Now, this one released on Storm Spriggan. It's probably one of the most fun drivers out there. It is a coated plastic sharp. And yeah, uh, the gimmick is that you basically launch it. And then if it, you hit the Beyblade, it'll perform like a counterattack. Or if you launch the Beyblade really hard, it'll act like an extreme driver, just super aggressive. It's a lot of fun to use, a lot of fun to watch. It's not really the most competitive driver, though. It's actually pretty bad. I wouldn't say it's C tier, but it's... Oh, actually, it might be C tier. What are you guys thinking? Everyone thinks it's S tier. Okay, it's not... Okay, it's really fun. It's really cool. It's probably my favorite driver, but I would not say that it's S tier. I'd say it's probably B tier at best. B tier at best. We're going to put it top of B tier. 
Top of B tier. I think that's fair. Next up, we do have debatably an S tier driver. Here we have Orbit. Now, Orbit originally released with Wild Wyvern, and when it came out, I think it was the best driver out there. It's a, basically a plastic free spinning ball. So, yeah, nowadays there's just better drivers because they basically just took Orbit but made it better. We have like Yard and we have like Atomic and, and like Bearing and stuff. So they kind of just do Orbit's job better. But when Orbit first came out, it was an S tier driver. Nowadays, I think it's our first A tier driver. Yeah, it looks like chat's agreeing with me. A tier it is. We're going to put him in A tier. After Orbit, uh, the next release was Ragnarok. It came with the Revolve driver. I have a blue Revolve right here. Revolve was also probably one of the best drivers when it released. It's just a solid stamina tip as a free spinning ring. It was kind of like Bearing before Bearing was a thing. And then Bearing came out like totally outclassed. But even now, like combos still use Revolve. Like people still use Revolve nowadays. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay. You guys are saying A tier. I'm going to put an A tier. Low key. I think it's better than Atomic, or not Atomic, I think it's better than Orbit, so we're going to put it above Orbit. Alright, after Evolve, we have Jaggy. This one released on Death Scyther. It's similar to the Excel driver, except it has a star shape, which makes it slightly more aggressive, but it also gives it a little less stamina. I remember back in the day, people used to use this on tornado stalling combos, which is like the lamest way to play Beyblades. If you guys don't know what a tornado stalling combo is, the strategy is to just launch your Beyblade as hard as you can, so it just circles around the other person's Beyblade and then slowly like goes in and then taps a little bit and then you'll win at stamina and it was decent at that I guess but besides that Jaggy it's hard to perform the flower pattern and it's kind of out of control I wouldn't say it's really that great I think it's it's either B or C tier I'm gonna put him C tier I think it's above massive though it's above massive and C tier all right after that we'll go with the quake driver wait no quake released on <laughs> Quake released on Minabora. <laughs> this is a single layer driver. Anyway, Quake is a lot of fun. It's similar to the Excel driver. There are a lot of drivers similar to the Excel driver, except this guy has like a really strange tip. It's like an oval. It's like an ellipse. So it causes the Beyblade to jump in battle. It has really bad stamina, but again, it's really fun to use. But because of its bad stamina, I can't really put it above C tier. I think it's actually F tier. <laughs> This guy's definitely F tier, but compared to our other F tier picks, I actually it fits in pretty well. <laughs> we'll put it after blow. Alright, next up. Let's go with the press driver. This released on Kaiser Kerbius. It is similar to the massive driver. Actually, I think it's like the exact same thing as the massive driver, except it has like four uh what are these called? Like structures holding up pillars holding it up. And because of that, it's actually worse than the massive driver. It's not really that great, but it's I mean We'll put it below massive. <laughs> it's not that much worse than massive. It's just not that much better than massive. Here's another upgrade to the Revolve driver, the Cycle driver, releasing on Jail German Gund. Unlike Revolve, it has this weird free spinning ring, which is not as practical and doesn't really work and kind of just makes the Beyblade scrape a lot. So, I mean, Jail German Gund was kind of a lame Beyblade as well. It looks like a helicopter, actually. I kind of like it. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Just because of that, I want to put it in like at least B tier, but I know it's bad. It's not it's not F tier worthy, but I think it's probably the worst uh, driver we have in C tier. All right, next. What is this driver? Oh, next up we have the Spiral Driver releasing on Lost Longness. The Spiral Driver, kind of booty. Not that great. It's kind of like Jaggy, but just like bigger. It's Jaggy, but bigger and like less stamina, I guess a little more aggressive. The only reason like people think it's good is because it comes on Lost Longness. And people love Lost Longness, but in reality, the Spiral Driver is not that great. Bad stamina, hard to flower pattern, hard to control. I would probably put it... I don't think it's F tier, but it's probably it's probably worse than Cycle. Um, no, it's probably better than Cycle. We'll put it above Cycle. We'll put it above Cycle in C tier. After that, we have the Needle Driver. Uh, this released on Unicorn, or maybe it was Random Booster Volume 2 on Evil Eye. Anyway, the needle driver is similar to the massive driver. I actually think it's the same exact tip, except if you look at it, it has little needles on it. So that's the thing that makes it different. And those little needles make a big difference. Not uh, It just makes a Beyblade kind of off balance. It's kind of like massive with extra steps. I don't think it's that much worse than massive, but it's really not that good. People are saying C tier. I think you guys are right. Some people are even saying F tier. 
It's probably C tier. We'll put it uh, below Spiral. Oh, this one's one of my favorite drivers. This is the Trans Driver, originally releasing on um, Neptune. And yeah, the whole gimmick to this driver is that it's a mode changing driver. So you have one mode that's tack mode and then you just move it here and the little tip comes out and it becomes a stamina mode. So before battle, if you're versing like an attack opponent and let's say you want to do attack on attack, maybe that's your strategy, you go attack mode or maybe like you want to be a little more defensive, you go stamina mode. It's just very versatile. It's really cool. It was the first mode changing driver. And because of that, I can't, I don't know if I can put an A tier. <laughs> It's good, right? It's like not bad. I think it goes straight to B tier. Someone says straight to B tier. I think you guys are right. Like, it's it's basically like Zephyr, and then uh, I would want to say like this is like survive. So it's like two tips and one, but both tips are in B tier. So I think we put in B tier. I think it's the top of B tier though. I think it's top of B tier. We're gonna put in above Zephyr as top of B tier. All right, after that, we have a watermelon colored <laughs> impact driver. Wait, this looks so good. This looks like a Sour Patch Kid or something. <laughs> anyway, although it looks good, impact is probably one of the worst drivers to be released. Imagine spiral, but even less stamina. And spirals in C tier. And we're all, and realistically, spiral might be an F tier. <laughs> But yeah, this driver is absolutely terrible. No stamina whatsoever. Super hard to control, and it's just bad. It goes straight into F tier. We'll put it. We'll put it above Edge though. It's definitely better than Edge. After that, we have the Claw Driver. The Claw Driver released on Horror Suit or I guess Random Booster Volume One Trident. Um, it's basically just a smaller survive tip, except it has little claws on it, which I think are really cool. In practicality, they don't really do much. They actually make the Beyblade scrape a little more. But I would say the smaller tip is pretty useful. It does provide a little more stamina. And because of that, I think we're going to put it in B tier. I still think survive's better, so we'll put it below survive. What is this? Oh, the whole driver is up next. This one released on Beast Behemoth. And I already see a bunch of people putting Fs in chat. You guys think this driver sucks. But let me say, back in the day, if you guys were around during the dual layer era, back when we didn't have that many drivers, when Lost Longness came out, this was the driver people were putting on it. Because it was an attack free spinning tip. So it could get like decent attacks if you saw Flouch Longness, it could get decent attacks and then it would outspin the opponent because this was like literally the best life after death tip there was at the time. Can you believe that? That hold was competitive? And because of that, I feel like we can't put it in F tier, but it's just so outclassed these days by just better, I guess, free spinning attack tips like what we have like Exceed and then we have like destroy those are way better than hold you can actually like hard launch those and they'll do something if you hard launch hold the beyblade will just jump out of the stadium so because of that i'm gonna keep it from f because it did have a niche at some time but nowadays it's really not that good of a driver compared to everything else so we're gonna put in c tier uh i guess you know we'll just put in bottom of c tier why not Oh my goodness, the wheel driver. This driver makes absolutely no sense. They put a vertical wheel on a horizontal spinning toy. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> anyway, surprisingly, the liner driver, even though it's kind of wacky, it's not terrible. Like, it actually is not that bad. It's just weird. It's strangely good at times. You can get some decent counterattacks. It has... Uh, not great stamina, but at least it has some stamina, more than more than like impact or hold or spiral. So because of that, I think <sighs> no, no, I can't, I can't, no, no way. Actually, now that I think of it, this driver sucks. F tier it goes. What was even the point? What does that driver even do? Why would you use that driver? I'm trying to think like why you would use that driver over any other driver, and it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to use that driver over an another one, so we're gonna put an F tier. Uh, next up, we have the Weight Driver. It released on Zillion Zeus. I think this was the first driver with a metal tip. And yeah, it's a solid driver. It's nothing amazing. It's similar to... It's like it's basically just like a metal massive. And because of that, I guess we'll put it above massive in C tier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on to another defense type tip. This time we have Bite. Now, Bite is just a rubber ball tip, and it's actually, I would say it's pretty good. This is a pretty good, I, actually, I, I take that back. It's not amazing. I would say it's good. I'd say it's probably B tier. I'm going to tell you where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in B tier, just because for pure defense, 
it's pretty solid. It has a lot of friction with the stadium floor, so you're really not going to get hit out. Although, it doesn't have that great of stamina because of that friction, because so it's kind of like a trade-off. So if you're versing like an attack Beyblade, you'll probably beat it and outspin it. But if you're versing a stamina Beyblade, you're probably going to lose. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's balanced. It's a balanced driver, and because of that... I think it deserves a B tier. So we're going to put it in B tier. I'm going to stop ranking them in B tier. I'm just going to like throw them in because we're starting to get so many drivers that's like going off the screen. Anyway, our final Beyblade driver for the dual layers is going to be the Yielding Driver. This driver released on Jaeger Yggdrasil and it's the first driver to have the special palm plastic, which is supposed to have less friction than the normal plastic that they use. Now, I actually really like this driver. I actually think this is a really solid driver. Definitely better than like Survive or any other stamina driver that we've gotten so far, except maybe Revolve. I think it's an A tier. I think it's an A tier. I really like, someone's saying F tier. Oh, okay, but most people are saying A tier. Yeah, I think this is an A tier driver. Also, it looks really good. Like, I feel like I can eat this driver. Like this pink part's coming out for me to bite. I don't know, is that, is that just me? Does anyone else feel that way too? <laughs> I feel like I could just like bite this driver. It's like lipstick. Have you ever like opened lipstick and just want to like like take a bite out of it? <laughs> Whatever. I'm weird. All right, we'll put an A tier. A tier it goes. We'll rank them all. Uh, we'll, we'll rank the S and the A tier drivers at the end because I feel like ranking the B, C, and F drivers are like there's not really a use for it. Anyway, moving on to the God series. I have a bucket of God series drivers, so let's just pick one out of here. Our first one is going to be, oh, look at that. We start with Valkyrie again. We have the classic reboot driver that released on God Valkyrie. The reboot driver is a lot of fun to use, but I wouldn't say it's the best driver there is. I wouldn't say it's the worst driver there is. It's kind of like... Imagine at the beginning of battle, it's kind of like a less aggressive Excel, and then at the end of battle, it's kind of like a Jaggy tip. So it's a fusion of Excel and Jaggy. Although it's fun to use, it's not really that great. It's decent though. I mean, it's not bad. So I guess I'll I'll put in B tier. B tier it goes. Our next driver from the black box, we have oh my goodness, the Atomic Driver. This when this came out, it was the best driver out there. It beat everything it had amazing life after death amazing stamina there was no reason to use any other driver nowadays i i, I mean it's still top class i would say but it's not as good as i i want to say like bearing or like drift in um life after death but for pure I, defense i think this is still a top tier driver i think this is s tier we're gonna put an s tier i don't think it's as good as extreme look we have like matching uh, atomics and extremes it looks really cool i actually really like that i don't think it's as good as extreme but nowadays just because extreme like if you're using attack drive or attack beyblade you're probably going to put extreme on uh, you're probably going to put extreme on it if you're using like a defense stamina combo i mean atomics not a bad choice but there's just so many other options like extreme just has like this niche that no other driver fills all right up next people are saying that's their favorite driver all right up next we have oh the zeta driver the Zeta Driver is super versatile. It released on Spriggan Requiem. It has a defense mode, uh, stamina mode, they say, but it's a fusion tip, so it's really a balance mode. And then the final mode is in attack mode, which is kind of like, I want to say, a less aggressive Quake Driver. Now, although it's really cool that you can change through modes and like based on what your opponent's using, you can change. It's kind of like uh, trans, but just one more mode to it. And I would say that one more mode would be the defense mode, which is the best mode. But overall, the tips are kind of like garbage. <laughs> like the tips are not good. We have like what? A massive tip, a fusion tip, and a quake tip. Although you have a lot of like options, all your options are pretty bad. <laughs> So because of that, I don't think it's that much better than than trans. I think it's slightly better than trans. So we're going to put it in B tier. I think it's a B tier driver. Like, yeah, again, there's a lot of options, but all the options are bad. No matter what option you pick, you're not going to have a good driver. <laughs> all right, next up on our list, we have the Planet Driver. This released on Galaxy Zeus. And for the longest time, this was the heaviest driver as two metal balls and a free spinning metal ball in the center it really it's not really that free spinning um and yeah I, I don't really know what to say about this driver it's decent kind of gets off balance pretty easily even though it's a stamina driver it feels like it's more of a defense tip 
Uh, I, I definitely would not put an A tier. It's kind of just like an average driver. I wouldn't use this over any other driver, honestly. <laughs> it's cool how it has, like, the gimmick's cool, but overall in battle, it's really not that great. We're going to throw in B tier. Oh my god. Next up, we have Okta. This is one of the heaviest drivers. As you can see, it has a whole bunch of metal on it, and its tip is really funky. It's like a mushroom-shaped tip. Now, although it looks really cool, Okta does get pretty off-balance, and although it's heavy because it gets off-balance so easily, it really doesn't have that, that great of stamina. Um, I don't even want to put in B tier. I think this is a C tier driver. What do you guys think? Tell me. What do you guys think the Okta driver is? B or C? All of you guys probably don't even have the Okta driver. Okta driver is like a pretty rare driver to get, although I think they did release it in that Hasbro Pro series, so maybe it's not as rare as I think. People are saying C tier. We're going to put in C tier. I'm a man of the people. Democracy, guys. I listen to you guys. All right, next up. Our next driver is the Hunter Driver. Oh my goodness, I love the color scheme to this Hunter. I think this is the one that released on Beat Kukulkin. Or I guess Hunter originally released on, what is it, Death Sight there? Killer Death Sight there. But yeah, Hunter is a tamer extreme driver. It's basically extreme, except slightly smaller. So you have a little more stamina, but you also lose attack power. So yeah, because of that, I don't think it's as good as extreme, but I think it's still a solid like driver. It's a solid driver. It's a decent attack driver. Um, I'm going to put an A tier. I think uh, Hunter deserves the A tier. All right, moving on. We have, oh my goodness, okay. I, I think you guys know where this is going. This is the bearing driver. Debatably, at least in my opinion, probably the best driver ever made. It has a bearing inside of it, so it has a free spinning tip. So it has amazing life after death, amazing stamina. The only downside is that they gave bearing a weaker spring. So it bursts more often, although they did release bearing dash. And as I said earlier in this video, I'm going to be clumping like metal versions and dash versions with every single driver. So this is, pretend this is bearing dash in my hands right now. Bearing dash, this is an S tier driver. I think it's actually probably the best uh, driver there is. So top of S tier it goes. I, I don't even need to argue for that one. Afterwards, we have, ooh, the iron driver. This is a metal Excel driver, and you would think it'd be better because it's a metal Excel driver, but it's actually not that great. For some reason, although it's metal and supposed to have less friction, you would think it would have more stamina, but it really doesn't. And I think that's because if you look at the tip, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the way they like molded these drivers, they have like a little like circumference of metal like a metal ring on top and that causes the beyblade to be like slightly more aggressive so although you would think like a metal excel driver would have more stamina and i guess last longer and be good for like tornado stalling it's really not that great but it's not bad it's not bad i would say you know what we'll put in b tier we'll put in b tier why not after that we have oh the loop driver this driver is kind of like defense, except it has wheels that do nothing. So we're just going to put it in the same tier as defense. <laughs> oh, next up we have destroy. All right, destroy is a solid attack type driver, has decent stamina, and it has a free spinning ring. So this allows you to you usually use it on left spin combos or left spin attack combos. So basically use destroy because it has decent attack power. And then if you don't like knock your opponent out of the stadium, or if you don't burst them, you have the free spinning ring. So you win at life after death. And because of that, I kind of want to put an S tier. It's kind of an S tier driver in my opinion. But if I were to be honest, no, it does have a niche. It does have a niche on left spin attack combos. We're going to put it in S tier. It's probably the bottom of S tier. Maybe the top of A tier, though. All right, afterwards, we have... Oh, the driver that released on Drain Fafner. The nothing driver. There's nothing good about this. It's like a bigger survive tip with a spring gimmick that makes it lose stamina. Um, I'm just joking. It's not terrible, but... Compared to all the other drivers we have, like in S, A, and even B tier, it's, it doesn't really hold up. We're going to put them in C tier. All right, afterwards, we have the Merge Driver. Now, this is the upgrade to the Unite Driver, as you can see. It has a star-shaped rubber tip, and because of that, it makes it a little more aggressive, but it also makes it lose a lot of stamina, and it's probably worse than um, Unite, and because of that, we'll put it in C. Just because, like, if you... 
if your Beyblade gets hit off the center, like hit off the tip, the Beyblade's gonna go wild and then lose all of its stamina. And by the time like it run, or it goes around like the stadium once, it's out of spin. So it's it's pretty bad. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of break. We're gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna answer some of your questions and then we'll move on to the next tips. So yeah. Oh yeah, merch wears down pretty quick. Like if you see, it has like re really, I think hard rubber, or it's a soft, I don't know. It's really soft rubber. So then uh, the more you use it, the more it wears down. It wears down pretty fast. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I'm bad at live streaming. I need to do this more often, guys. I really need to live stream more often so I get more comfortable with it. I'm so bad. I'm just like stuttering and stuff. And oh man, I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. I'm still jet lagged from going to Japan and picking up those XP plates. <laughs> Favorite Beyblade combo? Let's see. I really like that Hello Kitty combo I made in that tag team tournament, which I am going to another tag team tournament tomorrow. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the streams are fine. I like them. Of course you like them, Kami. You're the mod. We still haven't done a mod stream. Oh my goodness. We need to do a mod stream. We need more mods in this chat. I mean, Kami's great. Kami's the head mod. He's great. I love Kami. He's, he's amazing. We played Minecraft together. Left burst, what is your favorite driver? Um, my favorite driver is probably Unite Driver. I really like it. Um, let's see, favorite YouTuber. Huh, my favorite YouTuber. It's not Mr. Beast. I mean, I respect Mr. Beast, but I would not say he's my favorite YouTuber. Can I say myself, or is that too narcissistic? That's too narcissistic, I can't say that. <laughs> These are the thoughts I have in my head, guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I would say right now, probably Ludwig. I really like Ludwig. He's probably my favorite. How long have you done YouTube? Well, this was my first YouTube channel. So how long has this channel been alive? Like five years? Since like, yeah, around like five years, almost six years. That's crazy. Six years? Oh my God, I'm flipping old guys. I remember when I started this Beyblade channel and we were like the underdogs. Like, who, who, who was big at the time? It was like Zanky, JoJo, and Beyblade Geeks. They were like the big three. And we were all like, all, all the other Beyblade YouTubers were just like making their own stuff. And it was like, you had to like climb the ladder. And I remember being like, wow, we're such underdogs. But now we're, we were like one of the biggest Beyblade channels, which is, it's, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's get back to the driver ratings. Next up, we have uh, the Flugel driver. This one released on... I think it was Ragnarok and the banana, and it's kind of the same thing as the uh, Survive Driver, except it has wings on it, so it'll go in the same spot. B tier it goes. Afterwards, we have the Guard Driver. This one released on Blast Genius. It's a defense type driver, and it looks really weird. <laughs> It's just a very strange looking driver. I don't know. Who made this? Who designed this? I feel like they gave up on ideas. When they got to the cart driver, they're like, just put anything together in like that blender software. And this is what we ended up with. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> anyway, it's not really that good. It's not terrible. I wouldn't put it in F tier, but I, I think it's like C tier. It has its stamina not that great. Defense not that great. It scrapes pretty often. Yeah, not a good driver. Afterwards, we have, oh, Ultimate Reboot. So this is Reboot with extra steps. It's Reboot except extend in, instead of having a uh, star plastic tape shape. <laughs> See, I can't talk. I literally cannot talk. I swear I'm not like this in real life. Like, I'm not like this in real life. Like, I, I can talk normally in real life. For some reason, on live streams, I just, like, stutter, and it's just really annoying. Anyway. Instead of a star-shaped tip, we have a rubber tip. And although many people think that like Ultimate Reboot is like one of the best drivers out there, and it should go in S tier, I see so many S tiers right now. Someone says to drink water, stay hydrated. Honestly, I need to. I think it, it's not really S tier. It's not S tier material. It's actually not that good. It's not that good. By the time like the Beyblade reboots, it doesn't have that much spin at all. So the rubber doesn't even do much. If anything, I'd say like regular reboot's better than ultimate reboot. So I'm going to put in B tier. You can kill me. Kill me, guys. Kill me. Judge me. I, I don't think it's that great of a driver. It's really not that good. Someone... <laughs> you guys are so nice. You guys are giving me like pointers. Just like, someone just said, be confident. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Someone said L. Wait, why don't we have an L tier? We need an L tier. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, moving on uh, to our next driver. We have the wedge driver. So this is kind of like a tall metal sharp. If you guys have ever like played with Metal Fight Beyblades and have used Burn Phoenix, Burn Phoenix is absolutely terrible. It scrapes all the time. It's metal sharp's bad. And just like Burst, the metal sharp is bad. I think it goes straight into C tier. It's not as bad as the F tier drivers though. Like not as bad as like Blow or like Impact or Edge. F tier is reserved for like the absolute worst. All right. Moving on, we have the tower driver, and my tower driver is broken. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's a bad driver anyway. So the whole gimmick to this driver is that at the beginning of the battle, it's kind of like reboot, where these tabs go out, and this tip goes in, which makes it a little shorter. And then as the battle goes on, the tabs move inwards, and the Beyblade gets a little taller because the tip protrudes out. Uh, honestly, it just gets off balance really easily, and it's not really that great. We are going... This is going F tier. This might go in F tier. I think it goes in F tier. It's pretty bad. We'll put an F tier. All right, moving on to the final God or Evolution Drive. Wait, we already did this. <laughs> Why are there two reboots there? All right, well, I guess that was the final <laughs> Evolution Driver. Let's move on to some Chosy tips. We got a box of Chosy Driver, so let's go through them. First off, we have uh, the Absorb Tip. This one released on Geist Fafner. It's kind of like the Nothing Driver, except it has a free spinning ring. It's like the Revolve version of Nothing. And because of that, it's slightly better than Nothing. But at the same time, they also made the uh, centerpiece, the tip, spring-loaded, which causes the Beyblade to not have that much stamina, ironically, for a stamina tip. So we'll put it in C tier. It's not really that great. All right, afterwards, we have the Dimension Driver. It released on Chosy Achilles. It's really cool because technically it has infinite modes because you can, well, you can just like change it. So every time you use it, I guess it's technically like a different mode. But in practicality, it's really kind of average. I mean, it's like a, it has like a rubber sharp and then um, a plastic like ring around it. So it's like the opposite of the Unite Driver. So I can't really put it above B tier. It's not terrible. Kind of like the upgrade version of like Unite X like Trans. So B tier it goes. After that, we have the Yard Driver, originally releasing on Fornius. This one has a free swing ball, so it's similar to the Orbit Driver, except it has this giant like plastic area. It looks kind of like a football. And because of that, it does scrape quite a lot. I actually think it's worse than... Uh, orbit so B tier it goes next up we're, we're flying through these we have oh this is the jolt driver so jolt is actually really cool jolt originally released on bloody longness and it is a spiral version of extreme so it's more aggressive has more attack power but it lacks a lot of stamina so because of that i don't think it's as good as extreme but it's still a pretty solid attack type driver i think this is a tier all right, next up, what is this? Oh my God, we have Quest. You guys know where this is going. Quest is absolutely terrible. It just suction cups the stadium floor and just doesn't let go and has horrendous stamina. It's probably the worst driver, maybe besides Edge. It's I actually think Edge is better. It's Yeah, everyone's saying F in chat. F in chat, yeah, it's the worst one. All right, afterwards, our next driver. Oh, the Evolution Dash driver. All right, this driver is similar to Variable, where it has the gimmick that over time it wears down. Once you wear it down completely, it becomes kind of like a more aggressive extreme driver, kind of similar to Jolt, except I would say Evolution Dash is slightly better than Jolt. I want to put in an A tier. I think this is probably an A tier driver, maybe even like an S tier driver. I don't know. What do you guys think? People are saying solid A tier. Yeah, guys, tell me in the in chat like what you guys think of these drivers. Yeah, people think solid A tier. I think this is a solid A tier driver. I think people are sleeping on the Evolution Dash driver. I actually think it's pretty good. All right. Next up on our list, we have Operate. Now, the gimmick to Operate is that it's a driver that makes your Beyblade jump. So you have the normal mode, the defense mode, where it's just a ball, and you can change it to attack mode, where it's kind of crooked and your Beyblade jumps. Overall, I guess defense mode is decent, but attack mode is absolutely terrible. So I'm going to put it... I mean, defense mode's like, all right, so we'll put it, <coughs> sorry. Defense mode's all right, so we'll put it in, uh, we'll put it in B tier. He read my comment. I've never felt so good. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I read all comments. 
<laughs> anyway, moving on to the next. I, actually, I do not read all comments. I do not. I will say that if you comment on a left first video, I I try to read as many comments as I can. There are just so many comments. It's hard to read all of them. Anyway, moving on to the next one, we have extend. Not extend plus. This is just normal extend. Normal extend is similar to the, I want to say, the fusion driver, except it's a little bigger and it has a height change. Yeah. It's pretty bad. You put Fusion in F tier. I don't think Extend is F tier. I think it's a little better than Fusion. It kind of has like, I, I guess, a, a gimmick to it. It's like Fusion with extra steps. So we'll put it above Fusion in C tier since Fusion is in F tier. Ooh, we have the Sword Driver up next. This is an upgrade version of the Iron Driver, but it's kind of a downgrade. They put a giant sword through it, which is kind of cool, but the tip is like a jaggy version of like iron and Jaggy's already worse than excel so this is worse than iron we're putting it in c tier next up oh i mean we said that extend was bad but now we have extend plus and just taking the chip off and ex and exchanging it with extend plus makes it so much better extend plus has so much more stamina and has really good life after death it's probably one of the best beyblade drivers they've ever made I think it goes into S tier. I think Extend Plus is an S tier driver. People use it competitively. It's low to the ground, has good stamina, has good life after death. What more can you ask for? And I guess another Extend Plus. That's what I just pulled out of the box. All right. After Extend Plus, we have uh, Volcanic. Now, this one I'm kind of torn. I don't really know where to place this one, so I'm going to ask you guys in chat where to put the Volcanic Driver. Now, if you're wondering why I don't know where to place this one, it's because Normal Volcanic without, uh, whatchamacallit, Normal Volcanic without Awakening it is really bad. It is absolutely terrible, but you can awaken Volcanic by using it so many times that the plastic inside wears down. And after that, it becomes a really good driver at life after death and really good on like spin equalizing and stamina combo. So let me ask you guys, where do we put Volcanic? Volcanic. All right. S, A, B, C, I don't think it's F. I don't think it's F, so we'll leave it at that. Where do you guys want to put the Volcanic Driver? Honestly, if it was up to me, I don't know. So again, if it was like a fresh Volcanic, I'd probably put it in C tier. If it was an Awakened Volcanic, I'd probably put it in A tier. It's probably where, where I would go. So maybe we split the difference and go in B. I think that's what most people are saying. Yeah, right now, like 50% of people are saying B tier. So I think I think we're going to put in B tier. That seems about right. Yeah, we'll put in B tier. We'll split the difference, guys. All right, next up, we have the Eternal Driver. This is basically a smaller Revolve driver, but with palm plastic. So I don't know if it's better than Revolve. It's probably around the same. We'll put an A tier. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my throat's really dry and I don't have water. All right, and our final driver from Chozy is the Anchor Driver. This released with the prize Beyblade Shining on Materios. It's really interesting. It's like kind of like the Assault Driver tip, but then it has like rubber blades on the side. So if it like scrapes, the Beyblade goes absolutely crazy and loses all of its stamina. But it's really fun to watch. But because of that, I think C tier is like pretty fair. All right, let's move on to what's next. We have GT. Yeah, these are GT drivers. All right, moving on to GT. Wait, actually, we didn't do this one. This is the friction driver that released on uh, Phoenix. Now, it has rubber on its tip, but that tip actually, the rubber actually never makes contact with the stadium floor, so I don't even know why it's there. People say it's there, so when the Beyblade hits like the revive ring, there's like a lot of friction with it, causing like the revive armor to like ricochet and stuff, which I guess kind of makes sense, but it's really niche then. It really, its only purpose is to be used on a revive Phoenix. It's not a bad tip. I'm gonna put in B tier. All right, let's move on to the GT chips and our first, or the GT uh, drivers. And our first one is Metal Orbit. This is basically just like upgrade Orbit. I don't think it's like that much better than Orbit, but you can't really get worse than Orbit because it's just, it's just Orbit with a metal ball. So we put Orbit in A tier. We'll put Metal Orbit in A tier as well. Next up, we have the Keep Driver. The Keep Driver is pretty bad. It's kind of like the bite driver except it's free spin and we put the bite driver in b tier actually no keep driver's decent i think keep driver is actually pretty decent i think it's similar to bite where it's like kind of a trade-off 
where it has like really good defense except not that great of stamina. Yeah, we'll put in B tier. I think it's slightly better than Bite actually. I changed my mind. I like to keep driver. I think it's just Bushnashura. Like I sit on Bushnashura and I just like shudder. I'm just like, oh, Bushnashura. And I always think it's just bad, but I just have to realize that Bushnashura is a bad Beyblade in general. <laughs> anyway, next we have the Rise tip. Um, this one came on Fafner. It's decent at, I, I want to say like spin stealing, life after death, but it's pretty bad elsewise. Yeah, it scrapes a lot. We're going to put in C tier. After that, we have, oh, the power driver that released on Valkyrie. What was that? What is, what is GT Valkyrie called? Slash Valkyrie, the one that released on Slash Valkyrie. This is really cool. It's spring loaded, except the spring is just like so strong that doesn't really make a difference in battle. Like a Beyblade's not going to be heavy enough to like push this thing down. So really, it's kind of just like a smaller jaggy tip. It's a decent tip. We'll put in B tier. All right. Oh, the bullet driver. This one's really cool. Shoots out a small Beyblade. Although it's really cool in the anime, it's really fun when it works in real life. The tip overall is not really that great. It's pretty heavy. Um, but when it protrudes out, like look at this. It's literally a stick. It gets off balance so easily. And people are saying S tier. I don't know why. It's, it's so like conflicting. People are saying S tier. People are saying F tier. I don't think it's like the worst, but I definitely don't think... It's the best. My bullet broke after a week of getting it. Yeah, bullets, <laughs> people's bullets break. Um, I think it's just, honestly, it's probably a C tier driver. It's not really that good. If you're going to a tournament, I would never use it. Oh, we have charge next. So charge is like Excel, except 10 times heavier. It has metal on, on the driver. And because of that, it's pretty decent. It makes, it adds like a decent amount of weight. I kind of want to put an A tier. Uh, mm, I don't know. I, actually, now, now that I look at the A tier parts, it doesn't really match up. It's probably like high B tier. It's basically just like Excel, but better. It's Excel, but better. We'll put in high B tier. All right. What's up next? Oh, up next we have... What's this driver called again? <laughs> is this low? I think this is low. This is the one that released on... Um, Unicorn? Not Unicorn. Pegasus. Pegasus. This is the one that released on Pegasus. It's like Revolve with a metal ring. And you would think that would make it better. But if you look, the metal ring kind of like stoops down. Like it moves. Which like makes it lose stamina. So it's actually not as good as Revolve. It's still like a decent stamina tip though. We'll put in B tier. Alright, what's up next? Up next we have... This is flipping dirty. We have Quick Dash. Now it's so interesting because Quick Dash, like you look at it and it just looks like extreme, right? Like, this literally just looks like an extreme. <laughs> this literally just looks like extreme. Like, let me get extreme. This is the same driver, except if you look at it really closely, the rubber is slightly smaller. Like, it, the circumference is slightly smaller. So I guess it gives it a little more control. <laughs> but really, it's the same thing. So we'll put it in S tier with extreme. I actually like using quick more than extreme because it does add, like I said before, it does add a little bit more control and I kind of have a hard time controlling extreme. So usually I do like to go with the quick driver. Quick is fast. Yeah, quick is very fast. All right, moving on to the motorized drivers. I'm going to rate hybrid and ignition as the same driver because they're basically like the same thing. They're motorized drivers. Um, they're actually pretty decent and pretty fun to use. The thing I think in competitive that makes them stand out is just their weight. And also the fact that if you can see, they have pretty good life after death because they're basically just spheres. I think these are solid drivers. I'm going to put them in A tier because they're just good at uh, spin equalizing combos and they're really fun to use. And our final driver from the GT series, here we have Generate. Generate is like the opposite of... Oh my goodness. Generate is the opposite of uh, the reboot drivers. It starts off as a flat tip. And then when the tabs move in, a sharp tip emerges and the Beyblade has decent stamina. I actually think Generate's a pretty good driver. I, I kind of want to say A tier. I think this is a pretty decent driver. It's really fast. It hits really hard. And then at the end, if like you don't knock him out or like burst him, then you just go in the middle. Like your Beyblade just like clicks and then goes to the middle and then you win in stamina. I think it's a solid driver. I don't think it's S tier. I don't think I would ever, I don't even know if I would bring it to a tournament. I, I, 
you know, I would consider ge bring generate to a tournament. So because of that, I think we're going to put it in A tier. All right, moving on. What is the next series after GT? Oh, yeah, we have sparking. All right, let me get the sparking tips. First off, our first sparking tip is the just tip that released on Wyvern. This thing is absolutely garbage, really low to the ground, and really bad uh, stamina because it scrapes all the time. Honestly, probably an F tier driver. <coughs> we'll put an F tier. Next up, we have Metal Charge. This is just charge, but a little better, a little heavier. So because of that, I mean, we put charge in B tier, so we'll put Metal Charge in B tier as well. Oh my goodness, what? This is the wave driver. So... They never, Takeru Tomi never releases, like, drivers that come on Beyblades that are new. But for some reason, they released the Wave Driver on, like, just some random Beyblade. And because of that, I thought the Wave Driver was going to be something crazy special. Because it's just something they never do. They never put, like, a new driver never released on some random Beyblade. But this time they did. And the driver isn't even that good. Like, look at it. It has, like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's kind of just, like, a bigger, like, fusion tip. It's like a bigger fusion tip, so it's a little more aggressive, and then it has a ring around it, and then another ring around it. <laughs> it just looks really strange. I think it was supposed to like kind of mimic the uh, quad strike Beyblades because they were gonna make like an Ifrit evolution. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna put it in. I, honestly, it's a C tier driver. It's not really that great. All right, next up we have. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is Universe. Universe actually has decent life after death. It's a good life after death driver, but it is bad at stamina. But for pure life after death, it's probably one of the best tips. Like, look at that. It spins really well. And because of that, I kind of want to put an A tier. Like, I feel like life after death is, like, really important. And this guy, really good at that. Um, so it's either low A tier or high B tier. What do you guys think? Universe, where are we putting it? People are saying, uh, yeah, it's really good at opposite spin. Someone asked Messi or Ronaldo. I like Messi better. One of the hardest tips to put together for real, though, because it's like free spinning. <laughs> All right, A tier. People are saying A tier. All right, we'll put an A tier. All right, next up we have... What is this? This is the Exceed Driver. I actually really like the Exceed Driver. It's kind of like the Destroy Driver, except it has rubber instead of plastic. I think this is an A-tier driver. Um, it hits pretty hard and has decent life after death. Solid A-tier driver. Probably the best driver or uh, attack driver in A-tier. Maybe even the best driver in A-tier, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to our next one, because we did Exceed, let's do Zone. So Zone is basically the same thing, except it has a sharp in the middle. Sadly, like, there are just so many, like, normal, I want to say, like, uh, stamina drivers with the free spinning ring that Exceed doesn't really stand out that much, or not Exceed, Zone doesn't really stand out that much compared to Exceed. So because of that, I think it goes B tier, just because it doesn't really fill a niche. Like, why would you use that over using, like, another, like, <laughs> stamina tip with a free spinning ring? I guess technically it's balanced, but really it's stamina. It's, just, it's literally, like, a sharp tip with the free spinning ring. It's, like, revolved with extra steps. All right. Let's move on to the next parts. Actually, let's do these. So we have Zone Plus and Exceed Plus. Now, Zone Plus... It just makes zone better, in my opinion. Like, you have this metal ring, and it's really good at life after death. Honestly, probably one of the best drivers at life after death, and it has really good stamina. It's like a, it's basically everything that low wanted to be. It is a metal revolve tip with really good life after death. I think it's an S tier driver. We're going to put an S. I would definitely bring it to a tournament. I have brought that uh, driver to a tournament, and it has served me really well. And as for our next tip, we have the Exceed Plus. Um, this one's not as good. Uh, it stops the free spinning uh, tip, but I guess it does add a little bit more weight. I would say, I mean, it's still an A-tier driver. It's still an A-tier driver. It's like a rubber flat. Like, how can you go wrong with that? Moving on to our final two drivers from uh, Sparking. We have the Mobius tip and the, what is this? The bearing tip, not the bearing, the drift tip. So we have Mobius and Drift. These guys are probably the best tips at life after death. I think this is actually uh, bearing, dr not bearing. Why, keep, why do I keep saying bearing? This is, uh, no, wait, it is bearing drift. <laughs> That's why I keep saying bearing because it's bearing drift. So it's bearing with, or it's drift with a, 
I can't talk, guys. It's drift with the bearing inside of it, and because of that, it has amazing, immaculate life after death. So because of that, it's going to go in S tier. It's probably the best life after death drivers there are. Everyone's swimming S tier. Everyone knows. Everyone knows that's an S tier driver. Both of them. Both of them go in S tier. Let's move on to our next series. Is this our last series? This is this Dynamite? I think this might be our last series, guys. All right, yeah, this is our last series. We're moving on to our last series, the Dynamite series. And which one should we start off with? I think we should start... Wait, why is this in here? We, we never rain. <laughs> this is from GT. This is the trick driver released on Judgment Joker. The gimmick is that while you launch, it's kind of like Diablo Nemesis, where it can change from stamina mode to attack mode because like of this free spinning ring. It's pretty unpredictable. It's fun to use, but it's really bad. We're going to put in C tier. All right, now we can move on to um, the Dynamite Beyblade. So first off... Which Dynamite Beyblade should we start it off with? Or which Dynamite Driver? Let's start it off with Venture. So here is Venture. It's actually Venture with the V gear. We'll just rate Venture. Venture is like a decent driver. It's like a smaller Excel driver, except it has a ring of rubber around it. So when you tilt it, it becomes a little more aggressive. I don't think it's that amazing. I think B tier is probably where it goes. Same with this one, Adventure. It's like the same thing as Venture, except... This part is like a spring, which is kind of cool. We'll put it in B tier. Um, and then we have All Might. I don't even know what this driver... <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. My throat's so dry. Anyway, I don't even know what this driver does. Like, I always use it. It always just goes crazy in the stadium. So, I mean, I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I just don't know if it's good. <laughs> we'll put it in B tier. <laughs> Because I don't know how to rate that one. Because it always comes on Dynamite Belial, and it always just goes crazy. Yeah, it does It does scrape a lot. It does scrape a lot. All right. Let's move on to Merge. Or not Merge. Let's move on to Quattro. Now, this is basically everything Unite... Or not Unite. This is basically everything that Zeta wanted to be. It's Zeta, but with actual good modes. It has metal and rubber, which is... Cr I, re I remember when they first made Zeta, and everyone was like, why didn't they just, like, put rubber and metal on it? Well, they did eventually, and that's how we got the Quattro driver. It has a metal sharp. It has a rubber flat... A metal ball like an orbit driver and then it has a unite driver so they're actually really good tips the only problem is it's pretty tall so it scripts pretty easily but besides that the tips are really good and because of that i kind of want to put it in s tier like what do you what are you guys thinking you guys thinking s tier for it's just so versatile and the tips are actually like pretty functional i think this is an s tier driver i think this is actually really solid yeah, we're going to put an S tier. It's probably low S tier. I feel like none of its tips are really amazing. But just the fact that you can switch between like four tips that are basically like A tier tips, I think I think that deserves S tier. All right, moving on to the next one. We have Zeal. This is the part that released on the new Helios. I think it's a rubber sharp with a free spinning ring around it. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> I would not say this is very good. I'd probably put it in B tier. It's like a decent driver. It's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. So B tier it goes. Same thing with Explosion. Explosion is kind of like Exceed, except it has a star-shaped rubber flat. I mean, it's decent. <laughs> Maybe this one's A tier, actually. This one's not bad. I say Explosion's actually not bad. We'll put Explosion in A tier. We'll put Explosion in A tier. I kind of like it. It has its niche. You know, there's not many, like, free-spinning um, attack drivers. So because of that, we'll put an A tier. Oh, next we have Bounce. This released on the prize Beyblade uh, Wind Knight. It's pretty bad. Doesn't really have that much stamina. Scrapes pretty easily. I think this is a C tier driver. Same with Kick. Kick is kind of like the same thing. Um, it's like Survive X Nothing. It has like a free spinning ring. Or not a free spinning. It has a... Uh, well, I guess technically it is free spinning. But it has a spring loaded ring. It's not really that great. Actually, it has decent life after death. But... Compared to, like, the S tiers and the A tiers, it's not really holding up. I guess it's not terrible. No, it is terrible. It does scrape pretty... It does scrape a lot, so we'll put it in C tier. All right. And our last two drivers. Next up, we have Moment. This released on Bahamut. This is, like, guard, but they actually took time to make it good. <laughs> it has a free-spinning ring, so it has decent life after death. And the ball tip isn't really that bad. It's probably... 
I wouldn't put it in A tier. I don't even think it's in A. Uh, we'll put it in A tier. I think it's an A tier driver, actually. Yeah, we'll put it in A tier. And then finally, we have the Never Driver. This is our last driver. It has a free spinning tip and palm plastic around it, which gives a decent length after death. Decent stamina tip. I think it's an A tier tip as well. So, yeah, that was rating every single Beyblade driver. I think now that we raid every single Beyblade driver, we should go to the S tiers and we should, like, actually like put them in an order to see like which driver i think is the best all right so let's do that let me just move all these drivers that really mean nothing because you're never actually going to use like any of these the, the majority of these drivers are not going to be used in tournament only like the top five percent so let's get the top five percent guys move these out of the way here are our contestants i will change the focus on my there we go on my camera and let's go through them all right so out of our drivers here let's rate them i think the worst driver we have on this list is probably it probably has to be quattro i think quattro is the worst it's just i mean although it's a jack of all traits it's really not that great like, like if i if i were to use like an attack combo i would use like extreme. If I were to use a stamina a stamina combo, I would use bearing. If I were to use a balance combo, I guess I would use like extend plus, right? Like there's no real reason to use quattro unless you just want to make like a super versatile Beyblade. So we're putting that guy in last. Um, next to quattro, I gotta say probably orbit. Orbit is not that. I mean, it was once one of the best drivers out there but nowadays why would you use orbit when you can use like bearing drift you know what i mean so we'll put it next to quattro and then same thing goes for quick dash because it's basically just like a tamer version of extreme i actually think it's worse than orbit so we'll put orbit above it after that um i'm gonna say destroy it feels a good niche but overall it's not really that great of a driver then i would say extend plus it has decent life after death and like pretty good stamina, but not as good as like bearing or Mobius. Afterwards, I really like zone plus, but I think it probably, it's like similar. It's like, mm, low key, I kind of like zone plus more than bearing, but I know that's just me. So we'll put, we'll put zone, bearing above zone plus. All right. After that extreme, although extremes are really fun driver to use, it's not really I mean, like, attack types are fun, but for the most part, most competitive combos comes w come with, like, spin equalizing uh, combos or, like, stamina combos, so attack is just really not that good in burst. So finally, moving on, we have Mobius Bearing and, uh, I guess, Drift. And because they release, like, Bearing versions of Drift and Mobius, like, there's, like, why would you, why would you use Normal Bearing when you can use, like, the Bearing versions? So I think that's probably the tier list. I think the best driver out there is probably Bearing Drift. Um, this guy releases on, I think it was, what is it? Barricade Lucifer. So if you want the best driver in the game, buy Barricade Lucifer. This is probably the best tip out there. So yeah, um, that was my driver tier list. Thank you guys for joining me. We are doing a, oh wait, someone said we need shot. You're right, we did miss the shot driver. Where's the shot driver? <laughs> Shot driver goes in F tier. There we go. I fixed it, guys. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was my Beyblade tier list, my Beyblade driver's tier list. Sorry, it was like pretty bad, like went kind of crazy, like the audio stuff and and the, uh, I guess, what was it? I was stutter, I was stuttering. I just stuttered while trying to say stuttering, and then also. Oh, my Wi-Fi cutting out. So hopefully the next time we do a live stream, it's not going to be like this. But yeah, I actually had a lot of fun. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what to do next. I'll probably do another live stream next week. And yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day. I know I forgot shot. We'll put, I put shot in F tier. Shot sucks. We're going to put him in F tier. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, thank you guys for coming. Uh, we're going to do a members only live stream after this. So if you want to join me, uh, become a member. It's I think it's only like $3. You just click the join button. And yeah, it's really cool. We kind of just chill and talk. There's only like a couple members. So it's basically like a one-on-one -on -one session. 
Um, my computer is at 5%, so for the members, I'm going to do that members only live stream in probably like 10 minutes and let my computer charge a little bit. So yeah, see you guys there.